Welcome back to another Wall Pilates workout. My name is Rachel. I am your guide to strength-focused Pilates workouts. Today we'll be doing a full body workout that includes ankle weights if you like, but if you don't have them, that's fine. You could do the workout without it. So let's start first with a quick warm up, and then we'll put the ankle weights on after that. So let's lie down. We're gonna come up to the wall, and we want our legs to be hip distance apart from the wall. And then we want our hips right underneath our knees. We'll do hip rolls first. So let's roll through imprint, come up onto the shoulder blades, and roll back down. And again, rolling up just to the shoulder blades, don't come up onto the neck. And back down. And rolling up with the breath, we try to exhale as we roll up. And then inhale, roll down. We've got two more. Rolling up. Try to keep those knees pointed towards the wall and not floating in or out. That works the inner and outer thighs to try to do that. Good, and then come back up. And come back down. Okay, we're gonna stretch the arms a bit. So let's reach the arms by our ears. We're going to reach the arms up, flex up, a little work into the abs, and then back to that starting position. So we'll do five each way, we'll reverse. So arms come overhead, flex up. So with the breath, we inhale as the head comes down, exhale, flex up. We got one more. Okay, now we're gonna go the other way. So arms come back and then we flex up. So let's inhale here, exhale, flex. Okay, one more. Okay, so let's sit up. We're going to put the ankle weights first on our wrists so that we can work the arms and then it'll also be some resistance for the abs here. Okay, so we can lie down. So same foot position, we have our legs hip distance apart and then hips are underneath the knees. With the arms, we're gonna start with our arms by this, our side. We're going to reach the arms up towards the ceiling and come back down so that will feel like a chest press. But we are gonna do that while we are bridged up. So our arms will be up, everything's gonna come down and then we're gonna lift up so we can get both legs and arms at the same time. If that feels like too much, you could drop your feet down and up, just bridging on the ground there. So let's go for 10. So down and lift. So remember if you feel this too much in your hamstrings, you might need to adjust the angle, like bring your feet down or alter how close you are to the wall here. You'll find that sweet spot. So with a breath, I'm trying to inhale as I come down and then exhale, lift up. Good, okay, we'll come down and rest in between. I'm gonna scoot closer. Next, we'll do a tricep exercise. Let's go back up into a bridge. Arms are gonna be reaching up. We're gonna drop our hands by our ears, lift the arms, and then same thing, drop the hips at the same time. Come back up a little two for one here. So let's go for 10. So down and lift. Really squeeze those glutes at the top there. We want that full hip extension. So with a breath, we try to inhale as those arms come down. Exhale as everything comes up. For five, four, three, two, and last one. One, good, okay, come down. Next, we're gonna bridge up again. Arms are gonna be by our side, reaching and extended. You're gonna bring them down by your hips. Come back up. We're not gonna drop the hips this time. So let's go for 10. So reaching down, coming back up. So this is just an isometric hold for the glutes. They just have to keep you up and lifted this whole time. Good. 
Okay, we got five more. Five. Four. Quite a stability challenge with those weights. The changing weight of the arms. Okay, one more. Good, okay, let's come down. Let's bring the legs in and then we can just rock back and forth. If you feel that in your low back as you're bringing those arms back and forth, you can think about tilting that pelvis back. That will change the angle of your pelvis and it should feel more comfortable for that low back and not have it be arching. It'll make it so you can't extend through the low back as much. Okay, let's put the legs back again. We're gonna do triceps again, but a different exercise. So lift up. Hands are gonna be right above the elbows with the arms bent. We're just gonna extend the arms, so straighten the arms by the hips, and then come back. For this one, we'll go down and lift up. And we'll do that for 10. So down and up. Just go nice, slow and controlled here. I know it's hard to not push away from the wall and feel like you're going that way. Really try to lift straight up through the glutes. That will help you feel more like you are going just straight up and not pushing yourself away from the wall. Okay, last one. All right, let's come back down. Bring those legs back in. Okay, let's place the feet back on the wall. We're gonna do ab prep. So arms are reaching down by our side. We're gonna flex up, and this time we're gonna hold for one, two, three, and come back down, and we'll do that for 10. So flex up and hold. One, two, three, and down, and up. So I'm just looking right between my legs there, and back down. You really wanna feel like you're really flexing up. That will help you not feel it into your neck as much. Sometimes we just bring our head forward and not, not flex up. <laughs> and up. And down. And up. Okay, we're almost there. With the breath, we try to exhale as we flex up. And then inhale, lower back. And two. And last one. Good, come back down. All right, now we're going to take one arm. You can put it by your ear. You're going to flex up to the other knee and come back. So you're just going to the opposite knee. We'll go 10 on each side. So flexing up and come back down. So I'm trying to reach that elbow to the opposite knee. Doing that three second hold. So use that wall to try to push to bring you up more. Ground yourself against. Oh, the ankle weight. <laughs> That extra weight, I can feel it. Huh, need a break. Good. Okay, other side now. So flexing up. And down. And reach. So with the breath, exhaling here. Inhale, come back. Okay, we're halfway. And two. And one more. One. Good, come back down. All right, from here, we're gonna be reaching the arms up. One arm comes back, one arm comes down. We hold for one, two, three, come back. We'll do 10 total, but alternating the arms is gonna be five on each side. So arm comes back, one comes down for one, two, 
three, come back down. Other side, one, two, three, and down. So trying to keep those arms straight if you can. One, two, three. When things start to hurt, I just focus on my breath more. <laughs> Helps give you a little distraction. Something else to do. Last one. Other side. Good, and come back. Okay, the last one here. Let's scoot a little closer. Both arms are gonna be reaching overhead. Flex up. Come back down, we'll do it with that hold. If that feels like too much, you can bring your hands by your ears. Flex up, come back down. You could always switch halfway through if you feel like you should not have done <laughs> the full arm one. This is pretty challenging. So let's flex up. Hold for one, two, three, come back down. Good, with a breath we exhale up. Inhale lower. If you feel like it's hard to come up, flex up without just bringing your head forward, you can always switch to that one where the hands are by the ears. We wanna focus on you know, doing the best form we can with the abs, so that is totally fine to do it like this. Last one. Good, okay, so let's switch the arms to the ankle weights to the ankles now, and we'll do single leg. Okay, so let's lay down. Same leg position. Let's lift up on both legs. Now we're gonna take one leg in tabletop, drop the hips, come back up. We'll go for 10. Keep the pelvis level here. So down and up. So really try to squeeze that glute of the leg that's pushing against the wall. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, plant that foot, let's switch sides. So down and lift. More unsteady on this side, I can tell. So a lot of core work involved in trying to keep everything level, and then the glutes are gonna keep this lifted. One more. One, okay, plant that foot. Nice little lift here. Let's come back down. All right, from here, while you're resting, I'll show you. We are going to extend the leg out from tabletop, go back to tabletop, extend up, and come back. So starting position at the tabletop, out and up. And we'll do five on each side. So let's lift up again. Press through those feet, lift, lift, lift. Starting with the leg and tabletop. Out, up, out, and up. So adding more of a challenge here that we're doing a couple different things. The further away from our body, the more stability we need. Okay, plant that foot down, let's go to the other side. So tabletop leg. So extend and up. The ankle weight wants to bring my leg back. Feel that hamstring stretch. This one. Okay, plant that foot. 
Let's come down in between. Scoot yourself closer if you need to. Okay, from here, let's lift up again. Other side now. We're gonna do circles, five clockwise, five counterclockwise. I love this exercise. I do this a lot with my reformer folks as well. All right, so let's go. So small circle. The bigger your circle is, the more challenging this is gonna be. So choose a circle size that still keeps you stable. We just wanna keep everything stable here. Okay, let's go the other way. Last one. Okay, plant that foot. Other side. So around. Okay, other way. Great, okay, plant that foot. Let's come down, bring the legs in. Rock back and forth. Okay, so let's put our feet back on. We're just gonna do one more exercise here. Lifting back up, leg and tabletop. We're gonna do a second set of down and lift. So really getting that glute work here for the last one. So down and up. Halfway. Okay, other side. Other legged tabletop, down and lift. Try to keep those hips level. Don't let that leg of the tabletop leg drop as you come up and down. Three, two, last one. Okay, plant that foot. Let's come down, bring the legs in. Rock back and forth. Okay, let's sit up. Now I'm gonna switch my ankle weights one last time to my wrists again. If you have the dumbbells, you can use those for your arms as well. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna be bringing our arms in front. Elbows are the same height as the shoulder. Scoot forward here. You're gonna open out to the side and come back in front. And we'll do that for 10. So if you've got the dumbbells, just hold on to them. So open and close. So I'm trying to bring my elbows a little bit further back from my shoulders so that I'm feeling it into the back of the shoulders and that upper back working. So good posture exercise here. We'll go for three, two, and one. Good, you can rest your arms down. The next one we'll do, we're gonna go out, just like we did, then go up, down, bring it back to that starting position. So we're kinda combining two exercises here. Let's go out, up, down, bring it back in. We're gonna do 10. So big things here too, trying to keep the abs engaged so that you don't extend through the spine as you lift up. That would be extending through the spine. So you just wanna be keeping that spine neutral here. So no arching back as those arms reach up. Last one. Okay, then we're gonna end with a side bend. So we are going to, you can sit on your knees. If that's too uncomfortable, you can just sit how we were sitting before. 
you're gonna put one arm to the side, reach the other arm up, and then bend to the side, feel that stretch. The things here we want to avoid is rotating through the spine. So really just feel like you're reaching across from me here, directly to the side. Okay, let's lift up. The ankle weights are not required for this. It might feel like quite a bit for your arms. So if you need to take them off, you can. Okay, come back up. Let's do one more each side. So reaching over. Come back up and other side. Come back up. All right, you're all set. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the workout. Please let me know if you have any suggestions of what you would like to see for these wall Pilates workouts. I'm totally open to suggestions and love to get creative with these workouts. Thanks again for joining me and I'll see you next time.